You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. For the community, by the community. For the community, by the community. Welcome to Cooks and Books. I'm Sarah Connor and I will be your host for the evening. Our cook this evening is Beth Bolton of A Little Something Bakery. Beth, Hi. welcome. Well, thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> so I have asked Beth if she could share her journey to becoming the owner of A Little Something Bakery and I, I love the story so I'll be quiet and let you talk. <laughs> um, a Little Something Bakery is a second life for me. I did spend 25 years with a major retailer, um, G Fox, then finally. While I was in, still employed, I did go ahead and go to culinary school. Um, but I was afraid to leave. You know, you know that devil that you know is better than the devil that you don't know. And, you know, I've been there for so long and, you know, gosh, you get three weeks of vacation and I'm not going to have anything and all those personal days that you get and sick dates that you get. So, you know, I just stayed. Um, I met a woman who um, is out in Simsbury. She owns Harvest Cafe and Bakery. I don't know if anybody has been there. Excellent breakfast. Um, I went to work for her. A um, couple days a week, but still stayed so that I could get my feet wet, but not lose anything that I already had. I knew where I wanted to be. So I left <coughs> Filene's. I went ahead and I uh, <coughs> went to work at Harvest. I was there probably for about two and a half years, and then I decided I had always said that if that corner store on the corner of South Quaker and Park Road ever became available, it would be the perfect spot for a bakery. Oh my God, I like drove by there six months later and there it was, the big huge for lease sign when Halls decided that their to-go business wasn't working for them. I went home, I said something to my family because this would be an endeavor that we all would, would do. Um, I have two children. I have a son who's 25, graduated from college as a music teacher in Rocky Hill. A daughter who is 23, graduated from college and is a um, technical designer. They both said to me that we have always, or I have always told them to reach for their dreams. It is now my time. I should never go back and say, what if? Just go for it take the plunge, you go ahead and you live your dream. And I'm so glad that I did. So glad. We're glad too. <laughs> <laughs> because we get to enjoy your treats. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you opened up, up the store how long ago? We opened February of 2009, so it's a little over two, uh, three and a half years now. We just did not know what to expect. I opened two days before Valentine's Day that year. I had no idea that Valentine's Day, which is my favorite holiday, um, would be just like an eruption. I just like threw some cupcakes into the case because I didn't know what everybody wanted and you know that there's cupcakes in the case still today. Um, I do have a staff, but people say it sounds like a lot, but there's a staff of probably 10 in there now. But you know, they're people who filter in and out. Girl can work one day for two hours, one can work another two days for two hours. So there's a lot of it and a lot of um, hard work that goes into making sure that we get that product right. So how many in the audience have been to a Little Something Bakery? <laughs> so when you walk in, first of all, that bakery smell is just... Oh, you just start salivating. And I don't know, it's like all bakeries have that smell. I don't know if it's the frosting, if it's flour, if it's sugar. I don't know what it is, but it's just this yummy, 
bakery smell? I think it's the butter. You think it's the butter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretending there isn't butter in anything you make. <laughs> well, no, well, no, I just suck all the fat and calories okay. out of everything. Good. There's no preservatives or additives in anything, yeah. so it's got to be good right. for you. So there's that traditional bakery yes. smell. And I know you have strong feelings about what a bakery is or should be. Mm -hmm. And why don't you share? We are is. an American bakery. So you won't find an eclair, you won't uh, find a cannoli, or you won't find those big, huge trays of pink and green cookies at holiday time. We are a bakery that is to remind you of a kitchen that you are familiar with, whether it be your own kitchen, baking at the holidays, your grandmother's kitchen, your aunt's kitchen, your neighbor coming home from school and she had just put a pie out to um, cool. That's the kind of bakery that we are. We stock cupcakes daily and this is a huge controversy that we have had for a while. We do try to get cake in the case, but when you're selling over 500 cupcakes a day, you wow. have to pick and choose what's going to go in your case, what's going to make the money. Is the cake going to make the money and sit there for a couple of days? Or, as we know, that the, you know, those cupcakes are, are flying off the shelves. We do do cake, though. Mm -hmm. It is all to order. A couple days notice. So two days notice if you need a cake. Two days notice if you want a simple cake. If you're getting towards the weekend, mm -hmm. you know, when my girls are getting up to 30 cakes and they're doing one-year-old birthday cakes are not one-year-old birthday cakes. One-year-old birthday cakes are being these big, huge, tiered things that they've seen <laughs> on the Cake Boss. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the Cake Boss is what, a half-hour show? So they think that it only takes a half hour to make the cake. <laughs> no, <laughs> it can't be. So 500 cupcakes a day? Yes. Why? What is the craze with cupcakes? I love. I mean, I love cupcakes. I love anything with frosting on it. <laughs> Pretty much, I do. Ask my family. Anything with frosting on it. But cupcakes. They've become such. A, I mean, stores just with cupcakes. I Why think, do you think that is? I think because they're portable. Mm -hmm. They're very easy and portable. You can also um, have a variety. You know, when you have a cake, you've got one cake, one flavor. Mm -hmm. You might have 20 people, you're not making everybody happy, so, you know, at least the cupcakes, you can have a variety. So who wants to know what Beth's favorite cookbook is? One person? <laughs> Few, okay. You're going to love it. I, I think this is a very fun book. The Pastry Queen, <laughs> Texas Hill Country's Rather Sweet Bakery and Cafe by Rebecca Rather with Allison Orsman. It's a very, very fun cookbook. Very fun. Um, very, very fun. So I've been perusing it, and no, you're not from the South, though. No, my no. husband's from the South, but I'm not okay. from the South. You're not from the South. <laughs> no. Because it has a lot of um, Southern flavor in it, mm -hmm. a lot of stories, a lot of um, Southern lore. And I went to school in the South. I'm not from the South, but I love that aspect of it because you can just imagine mm -hmm. you know the the southern culture and how she's brought it into um, the cookbook so do you have favorite recipes in here I have to tell you I think I've tried probably a third of the recipes mm -hmm. um, and there's some savory items that are in here that are actually really very very good also not necessarily just the sweet right. this book is truly um, torn and tattered in some spots. We do make something called a kolache um, in the bakery. Um, we put breakfast sausage in it with cheese. She, on the other hand, puts fruit in it. And it actually is a Czechoslovakian dish. There's a large population in Texas that is Czechoslovakian. And this is very, very popular. The bacon cheddar scones. We do make these in the bakery. They don't look like this. Um, and we've add, you know, I've tweaked the recipe a little bit for us, but this was my inspiration right here. This tuxedo cake, it's a chocolate cake with whipped cream frosting. Um, this chocolate cake is almost identical to the chocolate cake that I use. And we do make a black and white cake that does look 
just like pretty much just like this. Uh, and we use cookbooks for inspiration. Um, just the pictures alone, you know, and um, you look at it and say, wow, that really looks good. Mm -hmm. You know, we all eat with our eyes at first. And so, the, you know, there's some great pictures that are in here. So um, this one, I wanted to bring up this one because this makes uh, me laugh. Um, yeah. It's the cover recipe, yeah. um, which is this very, very big um, tart with huge meringue, like huge meringue. And the title uh, or the um, name of this tart is called the Texas Big Hairs <laughs> Lemon Lime Meringue Tarts. And I think that's hilarious because, you know, women in Texas have a reputation for having very big yeah. hair, just like women in New Jersey, which is where I'm from, so I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I tamed my hair down when I moved to Connecticut. But, um, I mean, it's just, it's fun. I, I think, and she, I think, kind of pokes fun a little bit of yes. the, the Southern culture. Yep. I mean, it, some of her stories, did they sort of ring true for you or anything mm -hmm. that... Um, um, a couple of the things. Um, I just, I love the way the inside of her bakery looks. She talks about how her bakery is really a meeting place for her town. She's in a very small town yes. outside of Austin, right? Yes. Um, so it's a very small town, and it's just people gather there. And <laughs> she tells one story where... She wanted to take two weeks off because they're just going constantly, constantly, constantly. And the the older gentlemen who gather there for coffee in the morning, like, well, what are we going to do? Like, where are we going to go? You can't close for two. You know, give us the key. We'll come in. We'll make ourselves some coffee. We'll lock up, and you can still have your vacation. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's that kind of a community. Um, and we at our ba at my bakery are it's a a community meeting place. Um, if you come in on the weekends or even during the week, many people run into somebody that they haven't seen in a while mm -hmm. um, and they spend some time catching up. So great recipes but just great stories too. A simpler time in life when things weren't so complicated and mm -hmm. you know you could go to the bakery and you know get something small and it didn't cost a whole lot of money but it tasted really good and it was worth the trip to either take the walk down there or, or drive over there to get it. Someone came in and said what are your specialties, what are your, your cookies that you feel like are kind of exemplify your bakery? I'm a chocolate chip cookie type yeah. of person. Mm -hmm. I think we have an awesome chocolate chip cookie. We have um, said, yeah, back in the <laughs> a, pe <laughs> a peanut butter cookie, which is um, very good. Uh, well, an oatmeal cookie. We do have an almond cookie that people really like. It is um, made out of almond paste, egg whites, and sugar. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like a, a macaroon in a way where it's um, a little hard on the outside but chewy on the mm. inside. Um, when we first opened, people just went insane for them. And for holiday cookies, um, we have cute little cardboard boxes that are the most adorable things. Um, I try to get them very, you know, gender, not gender neutral, but, you know, holiday mm -hmm. neutral, if that. Uh, <laughs> and you can either fill that up with holiday cookies or you could fill it up with chocolate chip, oatmeal, raisin. Um, a lot of people who, who I have been sending cookies out for, like for corporate gifts, are typically the chocolate chip, the oatmeal, raisin, the peanut butter, and then we tuck a couple holiday cookies in there for them. Um, you can get cookies by the pound, or you can get them individually, or by the dozen. The bakery has morphed a lot. Um, it morphed over the weekend again, and we've changed things around again in the bakery, but we have dog biscuits. Um, Avery Soda, if you've been around here long enough, knows Avery Soda from New Britain, so we do carry Avery Soda. Our coffee is roasted here in Connecticut, oh, great. Um, down in Lyme. Probably two-thirds of our business is cake, wow. and you would not know that no. from walking in there. No. Is there uh, a particular cake people ask for? Like, what is your... What is your specialty cake? There is not um, one specialty cake. Vanilla and chocolate, if you're serving a large crowd, 
um, are really the most popular. Red Velvet is that flavor that's up and coming. Um, it's really... What is Red Velvet? That's my, that was my other question. <laughs> I, got, I asked, so I went into the bakery and I said, I asked the, the girl who was taking care of the counter, I said, what are, what are the things that people ask for the most here? And she said, dirt bombs, red velvet cupcakes, and then some of the bars, mm -hmm. and then the scones. Mm -hmm. um, and so I tried a little of each <laughs> <laughs> with my kids. I shared them. I shared. That was good. But so what is, I was trying to figure out what makes red velvet different. I mean, I know it's red, but is there a different flavor in it? No. No. Red velvet cake is a buttermilk cake. Okay. Um, there's very, very, very little cocoa powder in there. Um, what you taste in there is the buttermilk mm, okay. and the vinegar. Vinegar is used as a tenderizer. Mm -hmm. um, and then you put the cream cheese frosting on it and the two together. Mm -hmm. It was good. That's, yeah. And the cream cheese frosting, I highly recommend if you haven't tried mm -hmm. that. My daughter, who hates cream cheese, fro uh, hates frosting in general, loved your frosting. It's, the cream cheese frosting is good. Yeah, it's very, very good. Mm -hmm. Do you get kind of sick of eating the sweets? <laughs> I don't think I would. I, I yeah, love you do. You do? You do. Yeah, frosting you probably would. <laughs> I don't. Oh, gosh. I, the only, my favorite cupcake is a vanilla cupcake with chocolate frosting. Mm-hmm. And it's my all-time favorite. So if I'm having an extremely stressful day, Somebody better find me a vanilla <laughs> cupcake with chocolate frosting. <laughs> so dirt bombs. Talk to me about dirt bombs because <laughs> I tried them today. The pumpkin, they were pumpkin flavored. Mm -hmm. And so if you had said to me prior to me seeing them, what is a dirt bomb, I would have thought it was something chocolate and like made to attract children, you know, like they have those cups with yeah. the Oreos yeah. that are supposed to look like dirt and the worms and stuff. But they're really not anything so why are they called dirt bombs, I guess is my question. My thought as to why they're called dirt bombs is because after you dip them in the butter and roll them in the cinnamon and sugar, it looks like a wad of dirt, uh, <laughs> really. Okay. That's what it looks the like. pre-cooked thing. Right. Okay. Um, I did not know about dirt bombs, never heard about dirt bombs. I had a customer who came in and said, oh my God, all this bakery needs is dirt bombs. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. okay, what's a dirt bomb? And literally, I Googled dirt bomb, not knowing there was the name of a um, band. <laughs> so <laughs> instead of just putting in <laughs> dirt bomb recipe, no, I just put in dirt bomb and went through 10 pages before I found this recipe. But what a dirt bomb is, is um, a muffin that tastes like an old fashioned donut. That's exactly what it reminded me of. Like the cider donuts you get when yep. you go apple picking, that's exactly what it reminded me of. That's what it is. And they are baked when they come out of the oven. They are dipped in butter, and they are rolled in cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. They are really good. They, they are. really are. <laughs> they are. I mean, they are good. I mean, yeah. Yeah. the um, regular dirt bombs um, are the ones that have, like, the cardamom and the nutmeg in them, and that is what... Um, it really makes that, that old-fashioned donut taste because mm -hmm. that's what was in an old-fashioned donut was that cardamom mm -hmm. and, that, and that nutmeg. So, but my girls were branching out. The gingerbread one is really good, too. Um, so how much baking, now that you've been doing this for over three years, how much baking do you do versus business management? I almost do no baking yeah. at all. Um, I do mostly business management. I do a lot at the counter, work at the counter, a lot of order taking. Mm -hmm. um, I like to bake, so there are some things that I have said I will do them. Mm -hmm. No, 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 we'll take care of it. N no, I want to do that. <laughs> right. So what's the craziest cake you've made? We did do a boob cake. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was not expecting that. We did. That's hilarious. Yeah. Someone came and asked, and I said, all right, let me think about it first, you know. And it was a woman doing it for her husband for his birthday. Oh, my 
my God. And we all just kind of had to, like, look at each <laughs> other and decide, you know. But we did it. Yeah. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, would, it was done very tastefully. I'm sure it was. I'm there sure was nothing it. that was... <laughs> Hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> What's my next question? <laughs> Sorry. Look, and I totally just did her in. <laughs> so you said you do develop some recipes. So what, are th what things are standard for you that are your own, kind of your own creation? Um, my pound cake recipe is my own. Mm -hmm. um, my family and neighborhood had to endure, and I'm really, I'm not exaggerating, at least 10 to 13 different pound cakes before I came up with the one that I wanted. Um, and our chocolate chip cookie is my recipe. Um, our peanut butter cookie is my recipe. Do you still bake at home? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, no. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's harder to be a small business owner as a woman in the community, or have you not really thought about it or felt any um, no challenge uh, that way? It is, um, first of all, difficult to be a small business owner, period. Um, everyone has to realize that we really are the backbone of, uh, of our economic time and um, to support your neighbor and your community is the best thing that we all can do. Um, when I opened the bakery everyone said you're a woman you'll have no trouble getting money. It's not the case. So that wasn't it the small the women business grants and all that didn't No. Work? No. Interesting. No. no. You it's who you know. It, that's, I hate right. to say it, right. it's, it's who you know um, as to how you're going to get any type of financing or anything. Yeah, interesting. Um, well, so what, what challenges have you come across that you didn't expect? Like I know you said you were nervous about it, you, you, weren't, you sort of avoided starting because you were afraid of right. various things. Is there anything that unexpected that happened? That oh. We challenges. had a major snowstorm on Halloween. Yeah. I had no power for seven days and lost everything in that bakery. Uh, yeah. And did I have the proper insurance? No. Because no, because you don't know. Right. So. You don't know when you open up a business what you, they tell you the things that you should and you should not have, but unless you've experienced any of it, then you really don't know. You don't understand the implications of what they're Not at all. You. Yeah. So it was very, very hard throwing yeah. away all that food because we were preparing for Thanksgiving. Oh, gosh. You talked about how there were certain things that you kind of reserved the right to still make, but you didn't actually tell us what those were. And this question is, what is your favorite thing to make in the bakery? Cookies. I love to make the shortbread cookies and decorate the shortbread cookies. That's my favorite thing to do. Now, how do you decorate them? What do you use for decoration? Royal icing. Um, I like to do that. I like to roll out the dough. I like to decorate them. That's my favorite thing to do. Are there any of your baked goods allergy friendly? We do everything in our power not to cross-contaminate. So if we've made something with peanut butter or with nuts, it does get washed, it does get sanitized, the table gets wiped down before we move on. Um, I do tell everybody though that if you, re you know yourself or you know your child or you know your grandchild or whatever, if they have a severe allergy, I would tell you no, we're not the place to come. Mm -hmm. You can't guarantee it. I cannot guarantee it. Yeah. Good to know. It's important to know. Mm -hmm. We love your chocolate zucchini bread. Oh. Explanation point. <laughs> the chocolate is exceptional. Is it a special cocoa powder? No. Interesting. What cocoa powder do you use? We use Hershey's cocoa powder. Wow. Ah, interesting. Just plain old Hershey's cocoa powder. Okay. 
It is really good, and you think you're eating healthy, too, don't you? Because <laughs> it has zucchini in it. Because <laughs> it really has zucchini in it. <laughs> what is your favorite childhood food memory? I would have to say going to Viking Bakery. It was a, a traditional bakery? It was a traditional. There was a Swedish bakery. Swedish, Swedish bakery. bakery. Yep. Um, of course, Viking. Of course. <laughs> and they delivered, because I do remember getting the blue boxes at home, the cardamom bread or the hermits, and they're Danish. I mean, uh, there wasn't anything bad at Viking Bakery. Do you use all butter in your recipes? 85% um, of our recipes have butter. There are some recipes that we use canola oil. Um, and then there's some recipes that we use the combination of canola oil and um, butter. Oil helps keep things moister, longer. A lot of those quick breads, a lot of those tea breads have oil in it. Banana, our pumpkin bread mm -hmm. has oil. Carrot cake um, and um, red velvet are also done with oil. So what do you do with the rejects? <laughs> <laughs> there's not... Yeah. <laughs> you can tell I love sweets. <laughs> there's very little um, food law, uh, food yeah. loss. The cake truffles that we have, I don't know if anybody has had the cake, cake truffles. truffles. Mm -hmm. So any cake that might have cracked, any cake that might not have been oh. perfect, any cake that might have been a day past its prime becomes a cake truffle. Hmm. It's cake and frosting put together. Um, we scoop it so they're round. We put a stick in them, and then we dunk them either in Belgium dark chocolate or Belgium white chocolate. So they're kind of like cake pops. They're like cake pops. Interesting. That's a great solution. I know one of the things when we talked before the show that you're very passionate about is the Park Road community. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit about that before we finish up? I would. I picked Park Road because I like the community um, atmosphere that Park Road gives. If you've been down to Park Road lately, there's a lot of new businesses that are coming to Park Road. Um, Jay Renee, the coffee place that's right across the street. Um, it's not all hairdressers anymore. <laughs> I mean, yes, there are a lot of hairdressers, but it's not. You've got the Thai place that's right across the place. You've got the Wings place that's down there. You have a wonderful family who opened up a Simon Eyes detailing place. There's Max and Lily's. Um, there's the Playhouse. Really, take a drive down Park Road. It really has become a completely different street than it was maybe five years ago. Mm -hmm. And you have a good parade. And we have a good parade. <laughs> yes, we do. Which is very fun. Yeah. Something I forgot to mention when I walked into the bakery and was overwhelmed with the delicious smells, there's also all of these little gifty things. So if you go and get cookies and you need napkins for your party, there are these great neat napkins. Mm -hmm. And then she has all of these cards, which turns out is a booming business, booming business for you. So if you forgot to get a card to go with the birthday that you're getting the cake for, she's got cards, she's got these cute t-shirts, all sorts of... Yep. Variety. So definitely check out a little something bakery. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Beth, so much. Thank for you for having your me. Stories. Thank you.